Hello Oculus Rift DK2 users and welcome to the video on how to play the old games that you can't play anymore. Why can't you play them anymore? Well basically the Oculus Rift um, Runtime 1.3 which came out on the 28th of March has zero backwards compatibility so any game that is not specifically made to work on it does not work anymore. So now you can't play Space Engine, you can't play Euro Truck Simulator, you can't play Alien Isolation, you can't play uh, Project Cars I think. So yeah, people are having problems. I have basically put together a GUI that looks something like this. Ah, oh, here we have one already. And basically, it allows you to switch between any of the runtimes with a click of a button, as I will now demonstrate. And we have switched to 0 0.8. Um, this may take a while, but it will switch back to home so you can play the home games. Uh, for example, like Elite Dangerous, which now only works on home. So, basically, what this is, is this is a program that uses the scripts that have been floating around the internet, that have been created by various people, um, and have got been made to work with 1.3, and see the description so you can go and give them credit. I've just basically made a GUI, I've made a whole bunch of script files for all of them, not just the ones that were available, and I've put it into a nice little package program which sits in the system tray for for use and can be closed through the system tray. And let me just show you how to install it. So basically when you download it, and the link is in the description, you end up with a zip file called Oculus Runtime Switcher v1.zip. You double click that and this is what happens, you saw me do that before and you get this. Now you've got a folder which you can drag anywhere you want, so I'm just going to drag here. It's already been here, so we open it, and now you have the files. I've left the script files available and to be edited, and basically all that happens is when you click the button, it runs the corresponding file. Um, so if anything changes, then you can just edit them yourselves. If you want to use a different installation location for your runtimes, then you can edit the paths in these. Um, so it's all nice and flexible. Um, a couple of things I will note. One. Let's open this. 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 have a couple of problems. I've included them anyway, just in case there's a fixes. But if you switch to 0 0.5, you will see it does not detect the HMD. I think this is still going to work with Alien Isolation, which requires 0 0.5. All you need to do is just pause the service and run the game, and you know how that works if you played Alien Isolation. So that's there for Alien Isolation fans and anyone else. 0 0.6 doesn't work at all. Uh, service is unavailable. But hopefully there will be a fix, so I've left it in for uh, future proofing. Um, now, you have to note as well that just by downloading this program, you do not get the old runtimes. You have to find them on the internet or find them in your downloads folder. And you should be able to um, get them, get hold of them, even though Oculus have basically hidden them from their site. Um, and I will note, very important, when you want to install them, you have to follow these instructions. The first things first is you have to have Oculus Home installed. Um, oh, we can't do that because we haven't switched to it. Sometimes you need to restart the program, as you just saw. Um, one second. And now it will work. So now if we switch to Oculus Home. Right. So now that ne this needs to be installed and working. Right. Once that is installed and working, you can then install the older runtimes. Um, and hopefully you still have the files. There's one I have. What you do to install them, this is very, very important, or it's not. It's going to screw everything up, so please pay attention to this step if you don't pay attention to anything else in this video. You go through the wizard, accept. Now this, you have to change the installation path. You cannot leave it at default, or it will literally screw everything up, and you run into a whole bunch of problems, and I don't want to come along and help a thousand people fix that. So, hope you're paying attention. You put them in a folder correspond well respective like this for 880 is underscore 0800 zero zero for 7 you place that with the 7 6 5 etc okay and then you can finish installing okay I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed um, and I will prove to you that this is how I've got it set up there we go oculus 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 and there is the original home left in the default location okay there you go that's my instruction video this is how you install um, my software and switch between the older runtimes. Good luck gaming and let's hope that all our companies that we love making the games we love update their games to work with the latest drivers because the latest drivers are dope. 